What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Black Ops 2 Jumps and Spots and as you guys can see today we're going to be taking a look at the map Hijacked. So uh, this map is pretty popular, it comes up in the rotation quite a bit and it's usually voted on. So the spots I'm about to show you are going to be pretty important because you'll be able to use them all the time. It doesn't really matter what game type you're in, these can always give you an advantage over the enemy and, and really kind of give you... Uh, heads up on them, but uh, anyway, so starting off here capturing C domination everybody likes to just land the flag like a noob What you want to do is hop up on these chairs or these little seats here either on the left side or the right side You can lay down if you want to to kind of stay away from enemies or you can stand up and use this as a nice little piece of cover and that's by far the best way to capture that flag. Now, uh, back here on the back of the boat, there are a couple of spots. Number one of which, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this, you can jump back on these dinghies, which is completely useless. But these railings here are not useless. Now, if you're ever spawned back here and you're spawn trapped and there's somebody up on this balcony, what you want to do is instead of trying to run up and take him out where he has the full advantage, what you can do is you can hop back up on these railings. You can go like this and kind of ease your way up and take him out, or from the middle, or from the right side. So as you can see, all these are pretty good for taking out that guy that could be camping up that balcony. Now also if you're spawn trapped back here and there's people on the left and right sides of the map holding you back, what you can do is hop back up on these things and use this as a head glitch right here. And you can jump up and see if you need to, but right here you're gonna be able to see from their chest up and you'll be able to take them out if they let you pin your spawn. Same thing goes for over on the other side. If they're up there waiting for you, you can hop up here and take them out if you need to. So both of those are pretty good. Now, uh, moving on over here to the left side, this is one of my favorite spots in the game. So everybody likes to camp up on these balconies on each side and I've got counter spots to each one. So the counter spot for this balcony is right here. And what you don't want to do is go up like this because this is obvious, this is what they expect you to do. What you want to do is go up to this futon, press A to jump up, and boom, look at that right there. You can see that entire part of that balcony and take them out and you can duck down if you need cover and they won't be able to shoot through this thing. It's extremely, extremely thick and it's not gonna do much damage to you. Now, uh, also another spot for this is if you're on this side of the map and you don't want anybody to flank coming around this way, what you can do is sit back here and you can actually see that little pane of glass right there. I'll shoot it and if we look where I shot, there's no way an enemy could get past this without you seeing them. You're gonna see their feet as they come around that corner. So if you sit back here, you can see somebody's feet and then move up and take them out as they come around the corner, which can be pretty useful. Now, uh, also for hard point right in here, it's uh, there's a really common hard point right here. It's one of the four spots and oftentimes people will sit back in this corner waiting for people to come through these doorways or sit over here by the weights waiting for people to come up the stairs. So if you think there's going to be somebody in there, rather than coming through this doorway where they're going to be raiding for you and probably take you out, you can actually just hop up on this thing and you can see through the window into that back corner, which is probably the most popular corner. So you can take them out if they're there and, and that can be really useful. Now, I'm uh, moving on to the front part of this building. This is also really useful. You can hop up on the couch armrest and you can see the entire middle left portion of the map. That's this area right here. Everybody always runs through there. So you can hop up here and shoot them if you want to. You can also shoot at this middle building right here. So if somebody head glitching in this window rather than coming through the front door which is very obvious just come over here to the couch hop up and boom you got a perfect line of sight right to that window now one other thing you want to remember with these windows is you can throw stuff through them so if you think somebody's in here you think somebody's down there on the uh, on the stairs head glitching you just throw a nade throw a c4 throw whatever you want through there don't miss it don't miss it twice <laughs> You guys get the idea. You can throw stuff through there and and kind of lead your way into the building without having to worry about enemies. Now moving on here towards the middle of the map, there are two really good benches on each side that you can use to your advantage. So this one right here can be used if you think somebody's going to be in this doorway or behind the table, like a lot of people tend to do. You can come over here, use this thing as cover, hop up, and boom, you can see into that room, which is very useful. The one on the other side is kind of similar. It's to counter this head glitch right here. A lot of people tend to sit behind this thing. So if you think somebody's there, and you spawn over on the A side of the map, come around this way, and rather than trying to go in the hot tub, which takes a really long time to come around here and shoot them, what you can do is just hop up on this thing right here and you have a perfect line of sight to the top of that little cylinder, as well as this can be used to capture the hard point inside this building, as you guys saw in my uh, my hijacked hard point video. So uh, that can be pretty useful. Now, uh, moving on over here towards this side for the middle of the map, this, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this. You can hop up here and you can check to see if people are coming from each side of the map. It's just, it's a nice little check spot. If you have a sniper, you might be able to get a jump spot but it's just good for checking. Now, uh, as for B domination for cap spots, everybody likes to sit like this and head glitch these things, which can be decent, but it's really dangerous because everybody just comes through and they bank nades off that back wall from no matter where they're coming from. And, and if you're in this middle B area, you're gonna be killed. So what you wanna do 
is hop up on these things away from wherever the enemy is going to be coming from. So if they're going to be coming from the back left, hop here. If they're going to be coming from this way, you want to hop over on this side. And this way it keeps you protected from nades as well as from enemies. And, and this one is the best one. This one is best because you have this wall right here, so you can this can protect you from this side, or you can lay down, which is really good as well, and it's really hard for people to see you in that stuff. So uh, those are the best ways to cap B. Use the futon bed things rather than sitting in the middle where everybody expects you to be. Now, moving on over here, I got another one on this side flank type thing. So if you yourself are flanking and you think somebody's going to be watching you, you know, maybe they're head glitching behind this thing waiting for you to come out, or maybe they're sitting like this, you know, whatever they're doing. What you can do is you can actually peek around this way, and you can see this entire left side of the map. So uh, most people don't know you can go this far, but you can do this. If you peek around slowly, make sure you don't fall off. You can get all the way to here without falling off, which is very useful. You can see that little cylinder there. You can see around the back side of the boat to see people spawning. And this is just a very good spot. Now, if you go any farther, you're going to fall off, so be careful. But uh, that can be pretty useful for just peeking around that way, and enemies won't expect you to be there. And, and then back here for Adom, there's really nothing. There's no, like, you can't lay down next to this. There's nothing you can do at all. Security it's just A. wide out in the open and, and just pray that no enemies are around you. Now, uh, one thing I do like to do near A, especially in hardpoint, if there's somebody in the kitchen waiting for you, you know, maybe you're capturing A or, you know, maybe they're waiting and protecting the hardpoint, you can throw things through these vents. So check this out. If you just go through this, you can throw stuff through there. You can throw nades, flash the stuns, whatever you want, and, and you can find out if people are in there and take them out if they are. Now, Moving on, upstairs in this building there is a really good spot for countering the uh, the opposite balcony. So a lot of people like to sit up in this balcony, a lot of people like to counter this balcony from that balcony over there. So what you want to do is instead of taking people out by shooting like this, come back here in this room, hop up on the desk, and then boom, look at that. You can see over the high wall into that room, which nobody really expects you to be doing. So instead of sitting like this where you're really out in the open, hop up on the desk, peek around and you can take people out. Now, uh, moving on finally down towards the bottom of the map, I got a couple of spots to show you guys down underneath. So these are especially useful for hardpoint or any other objective game mode where there is an objective down here that you have to protect. So if you're down here and you want to protect people from coming this way, then oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just lay down like this and they'll kind of drop down like Santa Claus. And if they're bad players, you can just sit here for the entire hard point and get yourself a bunch of kills. But if they're good players, you want to be able to move around and take different areas of cover. So what you can do is either come over here and kind of use this as cover, which is pretty good. You can duck down if you have to. Or my favorite spot is hopping up on this railing and then going up like this. And you can see over this thing here, which is hard to shoot through. So all three of these spots are really good for protecting people from coming in this way. Now you're not as lucky from the other side the other side is much much more difficult to protect because you can't just lay here because the enemies have a hallway to come through so they have time to prepare for this gunfight they can come through and start spraying as they come around the corner which is not what you want so the best way to protect people from coming through this way is probably just to sit back like this and use this thing as cover or lay down right here kind of use this thing as cover otherwise you don't really have much you can do because this way is just not as good now uh, finally the last thing I want to show you guys is this thing right here I also did this in my hijacked hardpoint video but if you didn't know you can throw stuff through this and, uh, and you can get it up towards the top of BDOM, or from BDOM you can go up top and throw stuff down into the bottom middle. So uh, that thing can be pretty useful. But uh, anyway, there you go guys, those are my spots for hijack. There weren't really too many crazy jumps or anything, but just a lot of little spots you can use to give yourself an advantage over enemies and, and help you win some gunfights. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got a bunch of great ones coming soon. Probably got a tip coming this Wednesday, and then I'm thinking a new interactive this Friday. So I'm excited, hope you guys are too. I'll catch you guys later, peace.